right, guys. As you watch this first picture, look at the time. 2243, which is 10, quarter to 11. Quarter to 11, 1045. 1211, okay. Park Inlet. We're facing south. It's 1011 at night. The next picture in this group. Now, let me show you. Um, Save it. Oh yeah, high quality. Okay, here's our next picture. This one I'm just gonna use a um, filter. Already pre-made um, auto correction filter. Let's go AI auto correct. Okay. I don't really need to do that one. I think the autocorrect is the best one. Now while I'm fooling around here, are you getting what's happening? It's 11 o'clock at night, facing south. The sun is rising. I'm just having fun with filters. I'm trying to hope you realize right now as I'm doing this. <clears throat> and I'm saving them. I'm going to post them on Facebook. Check this out. This gets surreal now, right? <laughs> it's 12 11, 22. It's 11 15 at night. So about every 10 minutes you get a shot. This is really a beautiful picture. So let me just, while that sinks in, what I'm doing is watching the sun come up at 11.15 at night in Hawk Inlet, Canada, I mean Alaska, excuse me, don't get, don't send me no bad letters now, so let's just uh, bring some emphasis, you can see how beautiful it is, what I'm looking for on this is that there's two light sources, it's really beautiful, I'm just drawing the colors out that are already there, a golden sunrise in the south at 11.15 at night. Well, <laughs> you can't get any surreal than that. You're looking at it right in my filtering. I just got these pictures. Okay, the next one I like, it's the next. See, these four pictures in the inlet were one after another. So we're going to save these. I'm going to put them on Facebook, so you'll see them on Facebook. Everybody will see them on Facebook. Now, this last one is pretty, pretty unique. That's what I gotta say. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just watch what I'm doing. Let's see how I filter. See how bright that sunlight is. This tool right here called Vibrance is something new. Um, I never usually touch shadow, I mean, um, temperature much. I mean, that just gives it too much of a fake look. But I try to leave temperatures alone. Um, but this new vibrance tool, it just takes what's there and increases it so you don't get this false negative thing. Um, it's a pretty amazing picture, guys. Well, there you go. But as I was traveling around, now, I didn't grab the, um, Usually I name one of them, the, the, the location. And in Canada, you can't just um, save it without getting the name because they don't add it to this bar up here. But you see 1211, same approximate time as the sun coming up. In the south, we're facing uh, 
I think it was also south, west, a little bit. And I've already done, like, see this one, I framed it kind of, did a little frame. And I just cleared it up as much as I could. Here's the mailbox. And these are the FAA cams. And this is like uh, two snapshots. And over here, you got like a part of a little bank over here, like a little city. Okay, what else can I show you since I've got the camera rolling? Let's see if I got a name on this one. No, nope. I was lazy about names. So this was sent to me, and I cannot remember his name, but since I'm here, I'm going to show you. He says this is the moonshot we got in 2011. And he says, How could there be clouds behind the moon? Well, this is not the moon. It's probably a, either some type of a ship or some simulator I don't know you guys tell me out there you some of the experts on this stuff anyways that's another shot this one I did a few filters on some shots that one I didn't have to do no filters but I like this you see the activity up here look at that thing what in God's name is going on out there? Who could tell you, right? Okay. This one right here is Hawaii. This is a <laughs> volcano erupting. And this is a ring around the moon, which a lot of you know it's a lot of machines. Now, um, Amin, this guy that does the Soho shots, has been sending me box pictures around the sun. This is an obstacle an object and I did not um, actually take down the information to do a show on this yet but this is an object NASA showing they're going to release in 2023 and there wasn't a lot on it but you can go check it out on NASA education stuff um, if you guys haven't been to my holy grounds coffee shop see here holy grounds you also notice that I put out a um, a platform, and on that platform, everything I do is on one platform. You can click on notify me, so every time I put out something, it, everybody gets notified automatically. So if you're in that platform, and there'll be a link for it. One of them's coffee, uh, Holy Grounds Coffee uh, Art Shop. Now here's the same picture. I want you to notice though how AI pulled the color out of each one of these. This up here, it, you know, I'm going to say, looks like an asteroid or a ship. I don't know. But you guys could tell me. I guess that's what I'm doing. So the, the most amazing thing was at Hawk Inlet 1211. At 11.15 at night, the sun rose south. There you go. You've seen it here. Now let's put some filters on this. Let's, uh... Let's put something on it fun. Amazing shot right here. I framed it out. And I've seen shots like this of red explosions um, burst into the sky. This has gotten a lot of views right here. Pretty amazing um, panoramic shot from John. 
putting up good stuff. All right, talk to you later. It's going to be a faster way.